Learn a university employee involved in the decision to identify the student says that they believe that he is an ongoing threat to students on campus, but say they had to weigh the the benefits to the student body at large with the risks to the individual student and said it was their legal duty to identify the student. In the days after the university identified a male student accused of two separate rape incidents in the last month, one of his classmates says he has not been seen in class. His name and face were shared with students warning them to call police if he is spotted. That was simply included just to reiterate the message that we know that this particular person presents a serious and ongoing threat and we do not want you to be in any situation that would perpetuate that threat. If you ever feel unsafe, you have a resource to call. Yet the university could not confirm that a formal investigation, either disciplinary or criminal, had been initiated. This sparked debate among the public, raising concerns about due process and public defamation, while others are praising the school's efforts to alert students of potential threats on campus. When asked about taking into consideration what this public outing would mean for the accused student, the staff says it comes down to safety. As far as timely warnings and the Clery Act, it really focuses on campus safety. It takes in the consideration of the majority, the general public, and um, despite any of those concerns, we really had to act in the best interest of the rest of the population. Under the Cleary Act, universities are required to report annually about crime statistics on and around campus. The latest report shows over a dozen rapes reported each year. All four rapes reported in the last three months have been referred to the Title IX office. We are constantly perpetuating the message that it is okay. If you're a victim, report it. We'll help you get resources, accommodations. There are many avenues for that particular person, whoever the reporting party or victim is, to have the environment that they're duly righted to. And this is happening against the backdrop of a national debate of the role of academic institutions in investigating or handling reports of sexual assault on college campuses. Today, the California Attorney General speaking up in contrast to new federal guidelines released last month that set a stricter standard for evidence in investigating these cases. Erin. Hi, Bianca. Thank you. While Cal State Monterey Bay is naming the student in question and has released his picture, KSBW is not because he has not been arrested or charged and campus police are not investigating.